Wait, what? you're getting drinks? Okay, Ayuka, we do not condone. Oh, sorry. Profanities. Bring your coworker. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just go ahead and do that, and then once it goes live, I'll go comment in the original live. With the live. All right, we good. Let We're live. When to start on YouTube? To start on YouTube? Yep, we oh. good. Yay! Uh, Logistics. Facebook. Facebook has never disconnected, thank God. Oh, yeah? Okay. We're live on YouTube. Facebook. We only have one viewer on Facebook, though. Yeah? And uh -oh. that is a very you special are. viewer, okay? <laughs> <laughs> we still want that viewer. You are live on Facebook. All right. Yeah. I think we're ready to get started. Go ahead, Wall. Yeah? Oh, oh, okay. Let's do this. Hi, how's it going, guys? Uh, I'm Lalaxina with Yuko, and today we have V12 Torque. Unlike the V12, I guess, speed now, we consider it, it's uh, something that we can rely on and not have to worry about overpowering as easy. So uh, let's get this thing opened up. Um, when did the V12 uh, speed version come out? I forget. Anybody know? Sometime mid last year. Okay, so upon opening this box, we get a charging cable. We have a manual charger. Today's charger that Yuko or that InMotion is sending us is a little bit beefier than our usual. It's nice. Output is a 100.8 volt 2.3 amp. That's interesting. The uh, it's usually like 1.5, right? That we get with the other one, like the extra. Yes. Yeah. All right. Let's crack this open. Our okay, so with our V12, we have the same battery as the older V12, which is a 1700 watt hour. And we now have, is it 2500 or 2500 watt? We have our own new motor, and you can tell that. It's the uh, newer motor with the new orange reinforced rim, something that's gonna protect us a little bit more on landings. Uh, I remember I ended up jumping in eight step and ended up cracking this rim on, uh, back in New York. But uh, new tire, this tire is a, what is it? I'm reading off a Cordial Y2J. This is my first time seeing this one. The tread pattern, it's gonna be pretty nice for straight lines while we at the same time have a decent pattern on the sides to still maintain a little bit of like happy edge riding on the uh, on the sides. <laughs> Let's turn this thing on. So connect to the app to activate. Anybody Please have the app? Please activate vehicle. We have a kickstand as usual. Please active your vehicle. For our newer in motion wheels. Please active your vehicle. Adrian, you got it right. Yeah. Please I'm active your vehicle. Yeah. Connect to it, Adrian. You got it? There you go. Please active your vehicle. And then you're going to want to unlock it. Thank you. And we have self balancing. Uh, same pedals, just regular grip tape. Our pedal angle is pretty steep in relation to other V12s I've seen before. Um, you got the speed version? Let's bring that up here just to compare angle. Uh, let's see the capacity of this table. <laughs> All right. Okay. Ooh, <laughs> <laughs> That's good. We're gonna hold this. You wanna? You wanna yeah, here, you want to uh, pull that pedal down? That's interesting. 
Yeah, right? Okay. Any different angle? My job. Right? What I'm here for. Hold on to it. Alien rise, everyone flew him yeah. in. Yeah, we flew him in. Yeah. San Francisco, <laughs> just to hold the table. Yeah. It is up at a north there on different yeah. settings. But. Yeah, yeah, or that's the high angle. Um, okay, yeah, that's uh, from what it's looking like. I'm seeing that it's a tiny bit steeper. I'm gonna release this one and then check that. Yeah, pull. Got maybe an extra two, three degrees of uh, steepness on that one. Uh, the perk of having that is when you're bouncing up and down from like little tiny bumps in the road or something like that, you end up having that little bit of extra safety where your feet aren't going to slide off. So let's just pull this thing off the table and move the table so we don't have to worry about so much shaking. You want to grab that? Is there to note in this? Not too many differences. Our headlights, we have three different settings, just like the regular B12. I don't think there's going to be any differences between, because really it's just a motor that makes the difference between the torque and the speed version. Do you have any questions that showed up just yet? And uh, the red room is a nice touch, and it's clean. Yeah. yeah. People are digging the orange room. For sure. Yeah. The uh, the original renders were red room, but yeah, it's orange just to match the whole in motion branding. Uh, we can add this wheel. This is not calibrated. Let's uh, let's get it calibrated. You want to start that up, Adrian? And yeah. Unless it's on here. It is on there. It is. Beautiful. Oh. Should we try the MOSFET spin test? Yeah, let's do it. MOSFET spin, spin test? <laughs> okay. Did you do it on that before? This is wind. It's pretty talented. Uh, we can do it on a different one. <laughs> I know we do have that other B12 that we already switched some MOSFETs on. Oh, okay. What do we want to pull another one? No, I think it's that one. The one in the back. That one has a battery issue. Okay. Never mind. That one might be in the village if we uh, try to do the spin test. I definitely feel that little bit of extra torque on this one. I can overpower it. Let's see. That's it. So max speed, according to this thing, is saying 55 kilometers per hour. Uh, what does that translate to? You can change it over to mile, but it should be 34. 34? Okay, so it's going to be like the same top speed as the V11. What is its top speed compared to the HS? Compared to the HS? The HS was able to get to 70 kilometers per hour. 43 That's about hour. 43. And then, um, yeah, the uh, you're going to be losing 15 kilometers per hour off of that, but at the same time, you're not going to be burning up your wheel nearly as fast. looking at these different settings right now just to see if there's anything new that they've added. As far as ride mode goes, <laughs> it still gives us... I'm just here to watch the cutout live. It's not disconnecting. We're setting it at 100. able to overpower it <coughs> without any pads. Let's see the uh, speed version. I'm gonna, I'm, not, I'm gonna not rely on the pads. And it's way easier to power the, uh, the uh, speed version. There definitely is a notable difference. The speed version felt more like the uh, King Song 16X, 
as in terms of torque for anybody that knows how the N16X feels like. Um, but the torque version still doesn't feel as powerful as like a Gatway torque version. Or Gatway RS19. Any questions that we have? No. Nothing. It's people loving it. Yeah. They're just here to watch the cutout. Yeah, right? <laughs> <laughs> you want to go and play that game? Can Test we out the MOSFETs? Should we what go was into that? the specs of the iTorque? Yeah, sure. You got a spec sheet up? Yeah. Can you be a full off-road wheel? How do you think it'll work off-road? I think it'll handle pretty decent off-road. Um, as far as big jumps and doing really heavy landings, while while the rim is definitely going to be more protected, I do worry about the axle still being that little bit less durable than a hollow motor. But hopefully, in motion comes back to hollow motors eventually. So we'll see what happens. Do you want me to list off the specs? Okay. Yeah, read off the specs. Sure. Be so, careful. Look, that was not the uh, Be careful. <laughs> Someone just said, I'm just here to watch Law make the wheel look good. Make the wheel look good? Okay, and drop the wheel. Yeah, I'll, dro I'll, I'll drop it as Rose reads off specs. <laughs> um, so, for the V12 high torque, the specs are battery capacity is going to be 1750 watt hour. Rated power is going to be 28 watt, uh, 2800 watts. Uh, max speed 60 kilometers per hour. Uh, how does that translate to miles? That's 37 miles per hour. That's going to be pushing deep. And then. Range is going to be 155, which equates to 96 miles. 90, what was it? 96. 96 miles. <laughs> How much do you weigh to get 96 miles on this thing? <laughs> <laughs> I was about to say them. <laughs> I think that's even more than the high speed was rated for for miles. Yeah. More realistically, you're probably going to get about 45, closer to 50 miles if you're playing gentle on this thing. High torque, it has a 45 degree max slope of climbing power. 45 max slope. It was advertised was. as a 60 kilometers per hour top speed. Perhaps it's unlockable like the V11. Say again? It was advertised as 60 kilometers per hour top speed. Perhaps it's unlockable like the V11. Maybe. But, uh, yeah, we'll see what happens. The tire is definitely nice, but then again, I'm also playing on carpet right now, so it's promising, but again, we'll have to actually test it and see what happens. Yeah. With the enhanced driver board, the increased max power output is increased by 23%. By how much? 23%. Oh, okay. Yeah, the, uh, the MOSFETs look beefier. Um, one of these was cracked open. Just uh, just recently. Are you able to see the comparison? What's our picture looking like? Pretty good. Yeah? Okay. Yeah, so let's Yeah, so do old MOSFET old MOSFET and these are our newer MOSFETs. These are definitely beefier. These are rated for you said one twenty five volts? Yeah, one twenty five now. One twenty five, so that's yeah, these were rated for one hundred, so the 125 is definitely way more promising. Hopefully they can carry this onto the speed one. Can but you yeah, just show again, the um, current and yeah, of the old one? Yep. Yeah, so again, the uh, old one and this is the current one. That's definitely a chiclet in comparison to maybe like a SD card or almost an SD card, but it's definitely notable. What was that? Oh yeah, great. Yeah, so once again, old, new. It's definitely something that's more reliable and things you wouldn't feel as fearful on.
Might be good to note that those are the same MOSFETs that Bigot is using. Yeah. Same MOSFETs as Bigot now, from what it's looking like. So more promising things that are definitely better for EUC future. Uh, anything else to note? What are your thoughts on the blue screen? On the blue screen? <laughs> Did they actively try to change the screen? The speed is white. Yeah, the, uh, yeah, so something different that Clint noticed is that the lettering is a little bit darker than it used to be, so it's gonna be a little bit of a baby blue rather than a standardized white. Oh, I yeah. don't think people can tell when yeah. they're filming, <laughs> but yeah, it might not be this is definitely easy. whiter than this one. This one is, has a little bit of a blue tint. Mm -hmm. Somebody said take it outside already. Take it outside? <laughs> yeah, sure, why not, let's do that. Um, do we have a secondary set of pads? Or we'll just take off these pads just to give ourselves a better comparison. We need to put the Velcro. Yeah. Do you have Velcro on here? Okay. Yeah. Are we good to go outside? Yeah. Field trip? Yeah, let's do it. Field trip. Let's do that. What's that? Yeah, you're that's okay. No, I'm pretty much a professional. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, basically. We got two weeks. I think I got that on camera. Oh, okay. son. We have our two. Um, ready for comparison. <laughs> <laughs> Right here. So I could keep an eye on everything. The hell is going on here? Don't jump that one. That one's the old MOSFETs, it'll cut out. Yeah. Yeah, don't put that one. Yeah. That's also wind.
I think you do have to push a little harder, yeah. yeah. Oh, no, I'm getting too far away from my tablet. It doesn't break. I need a strap. <laughs> Alright, so I'm stuck here. Good. <laughs> again with in motion what I definitely do love is that you don't have the uh, pedal dip that you feel on Gotways. Uh, feel safer. <laughs> it's okay, we're gonna put it through some strenuous testing anyways, so Yeah, we'll definitely do some make sure it's good for you, you guys so you know it's safe. You got Velcro? Yeah. How fast can you set up pads? What was that? How fast can you set up pads? How fast can you set up pads while riding? Yeah, while riding. Let's find out. <laughs> <laughs> Let's stand you up. <laughs> oh, he's going to make a follow me, Susie. Don't do it. He's going to make you follow the lane. Don't do it. <laughs> do it. <laughs> is this all the Velcro we have? Yeah. Okay, so this is sparingly. Is what <laughs> <laughs> A new challenge: setting up while riding with spare, with sparing. Yeah, we should make this part of the uh, amped electric games. <laughs> yeah, Someone is asking about a free spin test. Free spin test? Uh huh. We'll make that happen in a second. Just gotta make pads while riding, <laughs> or make a. Oh, is this like the perfect spot to keep him? No, they're right here. Oh, okay. Yeah. What? Perfect spot. He's in the view. I like that. That should make it run too. No, it has to be one. <laughs> yeah. Too easy, right? Too easy. You could just stand while riding. Good. <laughs> uh, I stuck to it, so. Yeah. Another one. It's a, it's a little crooked. Two feet. It's a little, yeah, a little bit. <laughs> I have to, it's a little yeah. off, but little that's off. okay. I don't know if it's okay. <laughs> as long as it gets us results. That's all I want. Any other questions or comments? Mm -hmm. Well, he asked me about the, uh, the spin. Yeah, and you then want a free spin. Okay. Get off the wheel. Free spin. Yeah. Don't free spin that one. Yeah, definitely don't free spin that. Don't free spin this one? Yeah. Original V12. Oh, it's, it's still alive. It is still alive. That's, that's impressive. And then okay. someone says, recently I got my third wheel from you guys. Thanks, Sebastian, for quick supplies every time. Good job, Sebastian. Do you think they will build enough masters for the high demand? <laughs> they're talking amongst themselves. Enough for what? Someone's asking if they've built enough masters for the high demand. Well, I'm oh. actually doing it. I am actually doing it. <laughs> <laughs> I was just joking. You think this is a game? Now he's got to change the main board while riding. Yeah, right? Yeah. <laughs> you can do that. Can do while riding a wheel. Repair your own wheel while you're riding. Riding. <laughs> 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 It'll top making eggs on a wheel. 
I am baking right now. It is so hot in Vegas, <laughs> and you're in the shade. <laughs> I, I don't know how you all do it. Oh, this is Ignore nothing. it. It's like, what, 80 right now? This, is just, this is just spring. Oh, why is it 90? It's Where did that come from? Hot. I don't know how we were just like, overheating all the time. Oh, trust me, my V12, did, or my V10 did not like hills. <laughs> oh, my favorite. Oh, oh. Now my favorite was uh, the Video East, Dover. the East Skate Renegade, and everyone's riding a wheel in like we in the dead lost, of summer. Like, Twenty viewers lost, lost all of them. <laughs> Sorry. All Unsubscribe. <laughs> does the V12 have suspension? No, it does not. Or am I missing anything? That's the best AC right there. Yeah, you can't stop. Can't stop. stop. Anything can't else? stop, yeah. won't stop. Someone challenged me to jump in over a cone. Over a cone? Yes. Like, like, Easy. Let's hope it doesn't come out. So that's a definite plus. Uh, yeah, I mean, what else do we want to see? Was it on kilometers per hour or miles per hour? What was that? 88 kilometers per hour. <laughs> I was just tired. 
Yeah. I, I like the tire. Do you feel pretty smooth in the car? Yes. Uh, Most of the off-road tires have like channels, like pretty big channels. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it just kind of like flops over. That's how I feel about like the veteran Shermans, the, yeah. the Kenda 262. Yeah. That thing, as soon as you're on like a maybe five degree angle, mm -hmm. you find yourself digging into that little, <laughs> into that big gap. So then you end up drifting out way more than you want to. Yeah, that's cool. But yeah, no, th this tire is pretty consistent. Especially with the zigzagging in the center too, that helps give you that little bit of extra traction on the sides. Anything else? Mm, no, not really. YouTube, they're just talking amongst themselves <laughs> about the master. <laughs> <laughs> Questions for the professionals? Anyone? Professionals. <laughs> <laughs> okay, unicycle nerds. <laughs> Questions for the nerds.
because I'm not nearly as in fear of burning out the control board. Is it orangey or B12? <laughs> 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 Definitely more torque. Yeah. 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 Plus, do trail and not rooting. Jump some steps. <laughs> yeah, with it, I mean, the axle is still less optimal than a hollow motor. Uh, but again, it's better than what the regular V12 is as far as doing jumps and doing other things. Uh, yeah, it's, it fills the niche of wanting a 16 inch wheel that'll go more than 30 miles an hour. Because prior to that, we had the 16X that was pretty much the wheel to have something that would be able to handle with other group rides. But then the top lack of top speed ended up killing it for anybody's want for uh, for going fast. Uh, but yeah, I mean, having something that'll be able to go 35, reasonably safe, that's, that's nice to have. Uh, the shape of the wheel is still a little bit iffy for me, just because the top of the wheel is a little bit chunkier. Um, for me, my quote-unquote optimal setup would want to be chunkier at the base, so then you could potentially throw batteries or whatever extra stuff down lower, so then that would allow for a little bit better upper leg clearance to keep yourself from wobbling. Um, but then again, that's also, that can be mitigated by having different riding stances and all that, but that's all situational. Those of you asking about the tire, um, this is a prototype, so well, pre-production unit, so it's yeah. not clear that this is going to be the actual tire on the actual production. Hopefully, it is. Uh, Hopefully, it is. Oh, yeah. we got a question. Is it worth the trade-off? Worth the trade-off? From like a speed version? I guess so. They do. Um, from a speed version. It depends on what kind of riding you're doing. If you're going to be trying to ride more 40 miles an hour and be able to touch that speed more often, then sure, I would end up just maintaining the uh, just maintaining the speed version. But the torque version it does its job. It's sweaty. Yeah, let's let's bring it inside. It's getting a little, <laughs> it's a little toasty. Yeah, I'm getting too hot. <laughs> yeah. But uh, yeah. Can yeah. <laughs> <laughs> someone help me with the table? If I briefly disconnect, it's fine. Yeah. As far as trading in your. Yeah, as far as trading in your original V12, it's it's really only worth it if you'd probably weigh a little bit more. Um, yeah, I personally would want to have a V12 to work rather than the regular V12, just because I'm around 200 pounds and it's nicer to be able to brake at higher speed and not worry about the cutout. Because uh, needing to, or if you end up over empowering your wheel while you're doing an emergency brake, that's definitely less safe and way more concerning. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's, it's not too much extra to really compare with. Um, any other questions, comments? Same Bluetooth speakers? Same Bluetooth speakers? Uh, let's, let's test that out. It, it should be, because mm -hmm. I, I don't understand why they would have any extra or different components from the uh, original. Anybody want to test it? I'm Any not connected to the issues. There's three in motion. Just show me those three. All right, turn off, turn off that one then. Turn off this one? Yeah. The, the third is in a box out there and it won't turn off. Oh. <laughs> okay. All right, let's spin on for pick one of the two. Yeah, that was it. Oh, that is yeah. it. Nice first shot. Funky funky funky. Here's my beer. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> this is 
<laughs> this, is, this is what Adrian writes to. I like my big Is this why you crashed? <laughs> Actually, it crashed because I was listening to Nipsey Hustle. Um, okay. <laughs> okay. Mm. I've been a no I've done flexing up. Good. Now other one. Alright. Let's do the same thing. Let's see if we bust both of them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this one. Let's see you connect to it and play the same thing. I got, again I couldn't imagine there being any difference. No difference. Yeah. Um, yeah, if you don't have a V12, then if you weigh more than 150 pounds, then get the high torque. If you're looking to break safely at speed, uh, jumping and heavier landing, V12 for sure, just because you have that reinforced rim. Uh, Any more info on that seat? What was that? Someone asking if there's any more info about the V12 seat. V12 seat? Uh -huh. Did you get any information or was? Um, it's coming. It's, <laughs> in, it's in production. Yeah. Hopefully, hopefully it's not too tall. Uh, my complaints with the V11 seat was that it was a little bit too wide on the sides and then that would push against your knees a little bit too much. But again, that could be reduced by a file or a knife. Just chop it down. Did you both uh, lift it up? What was Kevin, that? Well, did it up. you uh, lift it up? It? Yeah, do you, do you notice a difference? In difference the weight? in weight? Yeah. Mm -hmm. it's so small. It feels a little bit heavier. The MOSFETs are bigger. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that is where the weight goes. It might be a little heavier, but I would imagine it's like. Mm -hmm. I, I think it is heavier. Wider. Think so? Yeah. It's got pads in the fall. I don't think pads are going to make a difference. Sticker. So that's that it's just sticker. The rim is yeah, but you're going slightly wider. It's the orange paint on the rim, you know. So. Yeah, I think the rim definitely adds a bit of extra weight. More solid rim. Let's get that. Someone yeah. asks, can you compare it to the S20? S20? In what in what sense? What uh, because the V12 has a 16-inch rim versus the 18-inch on the S20. The S20 is going to end up feeling. It'll feel a little bit slower on the acceleration. Uh, I don't know. It's 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 not too much of a comparison because they're both different wheels. Uh, S twenty, I'd feel a little bit safer going up a hill. But uh, I don't know. It's <laughs> it's not. It's about suspension, right? Suspension versus non suspension. Yeah. Right? That's all it is. So. Suspension does make a difference. You being higher in relation to the axle makes a difference too because you end up having a different point of leverage. But that's also dependent on pad setup. This is dependent on all types of different things. If you're using your, just your weight on the toes, on the toes of the pedals, or if you're pinching on the wheel, you'll end up feeling different forms of torque, I guess. But for, I guess, raw power, maybe. I want to say the S20 is a little bit more juicier. Next question. I think that's it. Crickets. Is that it? Yeah. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, V12. It's, it's a V12. <laughs> <laughs> Buy it if you don't have a wheel. <laughs> Great advertising. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, if you want one, <laughs> buy one. Pre-orders open now. Yeah, right. Oh yes, pre-orders are open. Yeah. Oh, uh, also, who wants to, I'm holding the camera, so does someone want to say something about our community day on Sunday? Oh, community day Sunday? So Sunday, community day. if you're in Sunday. Las Vegas or if you're anywhere remotely close, come through on Sunday. We're going to be doing some training sessions and we have all these wheels that you could potentially demo and- And there will be food. There's gonna be food. <laughs> and training. <laughs> and dancing. A little bit of dancing maybe. 
Or maybe you're not going to see Law's going to dance for you. Mostly from Law. <laughs> maybe. Come through and break it down. Yeah, that's, how good, that, that's how good the food's going to be. Yeah. yeah. All but, right. Uh, yeah. Uh, thanks for showing up. I'll see you guys when I see you. Smash the like buttons, Matt. Yeah, subscribe. do that whole likey, subscribey thing. Yes, please. Comment. Can you can you give yeah. us some pointers yeah, you on? Can plug, you can plug us. <laughs> doing a plug. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, just visit Yuko and subscribe and uh, like, subscribe, <laughs> leave a comment. That's all you gotta say. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, following things. Thanks everyone. Yeah. Love Thanks you. for joining. Or at least I love you. Bye. <laughs> everyone loves you. Bye. 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 Stop listening yeah. to us. It's a wheel. Yeah. Yeah. We're in the sun. Like the other one.